The state will reportedly call 300 witnesses during the Young Thug Rico trial and could require months of testimony. What up, YouTube? This is Gary Radio back at you with another video. I want to give a big salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, Young Thug and Gunner have found themselves trapped between a rock and a hard place, man. They're already facing the RICO trial and now the prosecution plans to bring 300 people to testify against them in this trial man I don't know how they're gonna get up out of this one but it is interesting I'm gonna let y'all get to it this is Getty Radio let's go Okay, Young Thug and Gunner are set for the fight of their life, man. They're facing an insurmountable amount of evidence, an insurmountable amount of opposition as their team has turned against them in the sum of about 300 people. And even some of those people include key players who were actually a part of the crimes and a part of the criminal enterprise that they call YSL. And they're saying that Young Thug is the leader of that gang. And they're also saying that Gunner may have a leadership role or maybe some type of underboss in that organization right now the 88 page grand jury indictment characterizes ysl young slime life as a criminal street gang and it alleges 182 instances of collective participation in gang activity and criminal conspiracies citing lyrics social media posts and clothing or accessories with slime emblazoned on them as evidence the grand jury has even hit some of those individuals with charges stemming from attempting armed robbery and murder now i've read that indictment and there's some very serious charges in that indictment, including a murder that they're trying to tie Young Thug to because they say he rented a vehicle that was used in the homicide, right? But Young Thug's legal team is arguing that the prosecution acquired that evidence illegally. So they're trying to get that piece of evidence thrown out of the trial. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. We'll see around trial time if that's presented as evidence or not. Even if they get that piece of evidence thrown out of the trial, man, there's still a lot to work with because this indictment is heavy laden with charges man it's really serious allegations of murder allegations of robbery allegations of attempted robbery furtherance of a gang and listen young thug is even charged with trying to attempt to take little wayne's life remember his tour bus got shot up some years back y'all do remember that right well in this indictment they're saying that young thug and ysl had something to do with that attempt on little wayne's life man so he's got some things he's got to deal with and he's probably got some things he's got to answer for when it comes down to this man but Young Thug and Gunner has been denied bail multiple times, man. And during one of those bail trials, the judge actually said why he wanted to deny Young Thug bail. Let's listen to what the judge had to say to Young Thug. Let's go. There have been significant proffers about, uh, about Mr. Williams as being a danger to the community. In particular, the state's proffer that they have spoken to, taken proffers from other gang members and people uh, who are in this particular indictment and in, and other and they're not in this indictment that he is the leader of the gang he is dangerous and if he crosses them he'll kill them or their families now if you understood what the judge said he's pretty much explaining that people are in the indictment and not in the indictment are telling them do not let young thug out of jail because if he gets out of jail and they do their research and they find out that we're the ones cooperating against young thug and ysl they will send someone to execute us pretty much that's what the judge is saying and that's why the judge denied bail they're touting him as a menace to society as a danger to the community and that's the worst type of person you can put in front of a judge because because every single time that judge is gonna deny you bail, man. Listen, for anyone that's out there trying to perpetrate and trying to be thug and trying to be gangster, this is the end of the road right here, people. This is what it looks like, man. And I just got in my heart of hearts, I feel that Young Thug and Gunner are not gonna make it out of this trial without at least 10 to 15 years of prison, right? They're not gonna make it out of this because of the evidence that's mounted against them. And now they got 300 witnesses coming up against them. I don't think they're gonna make it out of this trial without a significant amount of time. Even though people are saying that Gunner is not really one of the ones that's tied into 
to the violence, tied into the drama. He just may be accused of furtherance in the gang, holding up gang signs, wearing memorabilia, and all of these things that's pertaining to the gang or whatever the case may be. But they're using everything they can against him to throw them under the jail, even their freedom of speech, right? They're throwing their lyrics out there and saying that, hey, these guys are saying this. These guys are saying that. Even in that bail hearing, the judge even quoted a lyric from Young Thug from 2015, where he said, anybody goes into trial and tells the God's honest truth will be killed, pretty much in so many words. I don't know the lyric, I don't know the song, but the judge did tout that lyric as to say that this is real. This is what these guys really do with you. So now your language, your freedom of speech, as far as hip hop is concerned, is being used against you. I don't agree with that, but you can't talk that stuff and then walk that stuff and then expect for prosecution to not come down on you, bro. It don't work like that in the real world. It's all fun and games until it's time to go to jail or until it's time to lay down your life. That's when people start taking things very seriously, which is why a lot of people start cooperating. Listen, a lot of people started cooperating as soon as they got in there. One of those guys, I think Lil Woody, had just came home from the feds maybe a year ago, two years ago. They grabbed him up. They said he started snitching immediately. Why? Because he don't want to go back in that box, man. He just came home. So think about this. Glorifying gangster life you got to talk about the other side so they only talk about the fun side lyrics rap hip-hop all of that it only talks about one side of gangster life the girls the drugs the money the violence and all this stuff everybody's always winning when you listen to the songs everybody's winning nobody talks about the losses nobody talks about the death sometimes they talk about dead homies things like that but nobody talks about the time when you sitting up under that light and you gave up some information just to get yourself home man nobody's going to say that right listen Listen, man, ain't nothing wrong with being a square, man. Listen, the drug game and the street game, it's dead, man. You're not gonna get away with this stuff, man. Cell phone triangulation. Everybody got ring cameras. Everybody turning the camera on when something goes down in the streets. You got the snitches you got to worry about. And now you even got the lyrics that they're gonna use against you if those lyrics that you wrote and said on the song can align with what you actually did, man. It's over for the streets. You might as well screw up, get it together, and fall back from all of that, man. Or you can be the next person and topic that I report on on this channel. Anyway, that's been my show. This is Getty Radio. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.